right, you guys, spring is in the air and so is spring cleaning. <laughs> so as you guys know, my parents are going on a mission here soon and they're gonna be gone for a couple years and so they're doing a ton of spring cleaning right now. Basically, in short, all of our stuff that's out at their house that we're storing there, my dad has called me, he's texted me, he's emailed me. It's time now for me to go and grab my stuff, otherwise they're gonna go get rid of it. So because we live in a small little apartment here, we're gonna have to find a storage unit or probably start selling some stuff. I thought about Facebook, you know, maybe trying to sell stuff over there. I know Danny uses that quite a bit. But a lot of stuff I need to get rid of are like my shoes. I have so many shoes that I have not worn in years. Get room for my shoes. <laughs> Anyway, so I don't really know of any like app that you can like sell clothes on. I did I did some research though, and I found this app called Poshmark. I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't know if you guys have heard of it. Definitely let me know what your experience is like and how you guys have liked it so far. I have personally liked it quite a bit. I've posted I think like 15 listings or something like that on it of just all the shoes that I have that I don't wear anymore. Anyways, this is the app. I'll put a link in the description so you guys can see it. But basically, you can just post anything on here. I posted all my shoes. As you can see, I got a lot. In fact, I have some shoes, you guys, that are literally still brand new. I've never worn them, and I think I have like three or four pairs like that. And so I don't know what the deal is of me buying shoes and not wearing them. Anyways, I posted a few listings on it, as you can see here. I have bought used shoes before in the past, and they ended up being my favorite pair of shoes. I bought these, a pair of Allen Edmonds that I got like 70% off of. And I've actually checked out a few already on the app, and it looks like I can get probably the same deal. Anyway, I'll, like I said, I'll drop a link in the description for you guys. So I'm hoping someone will like them and that I can make a couple bucks back, but you know, if I don't have any takers, then I'll just go ahead and give them away to someone else. That way they're getting used at least. But anyways, enough about shoes, enough about that. So today I'm gonna go over to my parents' house and start cleaning out all of our stuff, trying to figure out what we're gonna do with it. Also, Finley is going to be hanging out with Louie. So my parents are watching Louie while Michelle and Daniel are out in Europe. I'm really, really excited for the two of them to get to hang out together because feeling you guys, he is getting neutered this Thursday. Ooh. You're gonna get neutered. <laughs> I feel so bad for the guy, but it's needed, it's that time, so hopefully he'll be okay. Plus the other thing, you guys, this is crazy, but he still has puppy teeth in his upper teeth, and the vet said that they're gonna have to take those out at the same time, so he, not only is he getting neutered, but he's also having the puppy teeth taken out, and they're gonna chip him, which means they are gonna insert like a chip just in case he gets lost, which is actually a really good thing. But I just feel so bad for him because I look down at him, he's so cute, and he has no idea that he's, there's gonna be a lot of pain coming. But I do wanna make sure that right before surgery, this puppy has a ton of fun. So let's do this. All right, you guys, I just got to my parents' house, and this garage is completely empty. Like, there's pretty much nothing in here. And so, my dad has done a ton of work so far and on spring cleaning. He said there was a giant pile outside. Anyway, so all the work that I was gonna help out with is basically already been done. He has set my stuff aside, and so basically all I need to do now is just figure out what I wanna do with it. If you, I don't know if you guys can hear feeling whining in the background. He can hear Louie, Louie can hear him, Louie can also hear me talking and both are whining and barking, and so I'm gonna let the two of them hang out right now. Come in. Where is it? Is it your friend? Is it your friend? So if you, you guys have asked, Finley and Louie are not related. They're not the same breed either, but they're kind of similar. They both have poodle mixes in them. So Louie is a multi-poo, I believe. Michelle, correct me if I'm wrong. And Finley is a cockapoo, which is a half cocker spaniel and a half poodle. So this is kind of the crazy thing, you guys. When we first got Finley, I thought he was going to be the same size as Louie, but as you guys can see, they are totally not even close to the same size. And the other crazy thing is that because Finley is a toy cockapoo. He's not gonna grow anymore. The size he is right now is the size he's going to stay. So as you guys can see right here, look how much smaller Finley is than Louie. It's crazy. <laughs> we still love Finley and we love Louie. The two of them are like best friends. So I'm really excited for them to play right now. I feel so bad for Finley. He is having so much fun uh, and he doesn't know he's getting neutered on Thursday. Oh, 
If any of you have dogs that have been neutered, let me know what what's the recovery process like? What should I do? I'm super nervous. I, the, the vet said that he may have a cone and with his teeth, you know, being pulled out as well. Oh man, my heart just aches for the guy. So if you guys have any advice for those of you that have been through this before, let me know. I'm just a little nervous. Actually, one thing about Finley is that he is starting to go through the phase right now where he is starting to mark everything, kind of claim his territory, which means he pees on stuff. Anyway, so the vet said that that will probably tone down when we get him neutered. I am hoping that's definitely the case. I guess he's starting to pee on some of our stuff. Like just yesterday, he actually peed on my drone bag. <laughs> it was kind of funny, but totally I wasn't expecting it, obviously. So anyway, I'll show you guys that right now. It's kind of funny. Well, you guys, we had a major party foul. As I was flying the drone, Finley decided that he still had to go to the bathroom. And well, look where he went. Yep, he went right on the drone bag. No, you're in trouble, buddy. Uh-uh, you're in trouble. He peed right on it. I even noticed because I was flying the drone. Oh, boy. It's a good thing you're cute, buddy. It's okay. You didn't mean to. It's okay. So even though he's getting neutered, and I'm sure it's going to be a world of pain, at least it'll be for the best, and hopefully it will make him stop peeing on our stuff. <laughs> Okay, not sure if you guys have seen something like this before, but Brittany got me this for Finn. Basically, when he's out running around the park, or days like today, you fill this up with water, and then he drinks out of it through this little uh, bowl. Pretty cool, so I'm gonna try it out right now. All right guys, it's pretty cool. So basically, if I push this button right here, Water fills up. That's actually really cool. Good idea, baby. I like it. All right, you ready? Well, babe, I'd say this was a huge success. Totally works. Although, when there's other dogs around, Finley won't touch it because all he wants to do is play. But this is awesome. Anyways, I'll try to figure out what this is. I actually don't remember the name of it or what it is, to be perfectly honest. But we, Brittany found it on Amazon. I got it. So I'll try to put the link in the description as well for you guys. All right, guys, I just got the mail, and usually mail is nothing but bills because everything good comes in packages. So, <laughs> at least that's my two cents on that. But I just got a letter here in the mail, and it's actually good news. So this right here is proof that I have paid off the car loan on my car. That is actually really cool because it was a five-year loan, and I am just stoked that it's now finally paid off. I mean, that is so cool. It's finally paid off, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> that is some good news right there. This is some good news. All right, you guys, as you can see, it's nighttime now. I was at my parents' house for a couple of hours, and it was just really nice to be able to sit and talk with them. We haven't done that in a little bit, and so. It was really fun, we chatted for a long time. But now Finley and I are on our way home. We stopped off at Cafe Rio, which is one of our favorite restaurants, and grabbed some dinner for Brittany and I, and even grabbed a little bit of snack for Finley here. We're gonna go home, enjoy the rest of the night, and we're really excited about this new posting schedule. If you're just tuning in, we're posting Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 1 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, with maybe an occasional bonus video on Sunday. We have fun plans coming up this week. Not so much for this guy. Oh, sorry, one last thing. So we're doing a giveaway on our Instagram. It's actually really cool. So Daniel's company, Garage Smart, the company that he works for, we are doing a giveaway with them. You guys don't want to miss it. It's actually really cool, it's especially for anyone who has a garage. Anyway, it's coming up. Don't miss out on it. It's going to be awesome. But anyway, so we love you guys. Brittany sends you guys her love. She is working on a late night tonight. And we will see you guys on Friday at 1. See you guys. Love you. Bye. Yeah.